Hi guys, I'm Jesse from Mountain Pass Performance. Today we're going to create a little video, make it short and sweet, on how to adjust Mountain Pass Performance rear suspension arms. Okay, so here we are at Jesse's car. We're going to show you how to adjust this arm um, and also how to apply anti-seize if you live somewhere that uses perhaps salt in the winter. It's always a good idea to put a paint mark right across the whole arm from this side onto the adjuster to this side. That ensures if you make a mistake or perhaps you get interrupted while making the adjustment, you can always go back and start it over. Okay, so we're gonna make an adjustment here. I've already paint marked the arm. These are my two 10 millimeter wrenches. You could use a socket if you wish. Loosen slightly. Doesn't take much. So as the text shows, extend would be turning the adjuster forward. And I will do that one wrench flat. That is equal to one millimeter of extension, which is toe out. Now we must tighten the six millimeter bolt and nut again. With the wheel off, disconnect the bolt connecting the arm to the suspension knuckle. Measure and record the gap between the inner and outer arm precisely, ideally using a digital caliper. Loosen the outer clevis clamp bolt and fully unthread the outer clevis. Apply anti-seize to the bore and to the threads of the adjuster and reinstall the clevis back to the original gap. Tighten the pinch bolt. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And thank you for being a customer of Mountain Pass Performance. We're gonna try and give you more informative content coming soon. So stay tuned, like and comment below, thanks.